Assalamu alaikum. I'm Shuddha is here to meet you all today in the 10th class. Hope you are going to have an interesting lesson. Subject Exploring Science Topic Features and Major Plates of Earth Grade 6 by Aminat Shuddha and Aminat Jaiza from Ravi School. Rabbi Shrahli Sodri Wayasirli Amri Wahlul Uqdatam Milisani Yafkahu Kauli. Learning Intentions In today's lesson, you are going to learn about landforms and Earth's major plates. Success Criteria by the end of the lesson, you will be successful if you can. Tell the names of five main types of landforms. Name the seven major plates of the earth from a map. What can you see from the slide? The earth is rotating on its own axis. Now I want all the students to close your eyes with me and think about Earth. What comes to your mind? Living things, non-living things, tiny, 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 tiny creatures, volcanic eruptions, earthquake, layers of the atmosphere, Different types of habitats, different oceans, plates, continents, different countries around the world and the people live around this world and many more. Next, a secret friend like to hear something with you all. Do you like to hear that? Let's read. I have the biggest country. I have the deadliest sea. Three fifth of the earth's people live on me. I touch three of the oceans. I am famous around the world. It's the biggest continent. Do you know my name? Asia. Let's recall. Continents and ocean. There are seven continents and five major oceans in the world. Ocean covers more than 70% of the Earth's surface. What continent do we live in? Let's look at from this world map. That's the biggest continent which is Asia on Indian Ocean. The second biggest continent is Africa. Europe is next to Asia. The smallest continent is Australia, which is in red color. The coldest and driest continent is Antarctica. And uh, North America is in light yellow and South America is in light green color. The smallest ocean is Arctic Ocean. Do you know the biggest ocean is? That is Pacific Ocean. Uh, South a southern Ocean is near Antarctica and uh, there is Atlantic Ocean as well. Landforms of the Earth. What are landforms? Let's see. A landform is simply any natural geographic feature that can be found on the Earth's surface. From the illustrated diagram, you can see some of the examples of landforms. Island continental shelf, cape, coastline, hill, canyon, valley, mountain. Five major types of landforms. Mountains, plains, hills, valleys, plateaus. Mountain. A mountain is any natural elevation of the Earth's surface. Some mountains have permanent frozen river of ice called glacier. Some mountains reach high up the clouds. Do you know this mountain? It is called Mount Everest in Himalaya in Asia. This is the highest mountain in the world because it has the highest elevation above sea level. 
Plateau. This is the plateau in Colorado. A plateau is an elevated flat land separated from the surrounding land by steep slope. If there is a steep slope, water will not hold that easily. So it is ideal for plants that do not need much water. The Deccan Plateau in India is one of the oldest plateaus. Plains Plains are large stretches of land. Plains are generally lower than the land around them. We can find plains in inland or coastal areas. Plains usually have good soils and are used for farming. Hill. A hill is a land higher than the land around it, but it is lower than a mountain. A chocolate hill of Bahal Island, Philippines. Isn't it beautiful? The hill get their name on, uh, because in dry season, its color changes from greenish to brown. Interesting, right? Valley. A valley is a lowland between hills or mountains. The bottom of the valley is called its floor. It has very fertile soil. This is the valley in Iran. How many of you wish to go there? I wish I could. From these landforms, we can see the beauty manifest in Allah's creation. Have you ever wondered how these landforms are created? They are created by a lot of factors like plate tectonics, plates colliding one another, erosion, weathering of rocks and breaking into small pieces, deposition, wind carries the sand. Earth's major plates. The crust of the earth and upper mantle is called lithosphere. The lithosphere can be broken down into many pieces like a jigsaw puzzle as you can see from the diagram. These giant pieces are called plates. There are seven major plates. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In the next part of the lesson, you will learn more detail about plates. Assalamu alaikum. How are you all? Hope you all are doing well. As Shudan is explained, the crust and upper mantle forms the lithosphere and the lithosphere is broken into many pieces just like a jigsaw puzzle and these giant pieces are called plates so let's learn about the major plates of the earth do you know that there are seven major plates on the earth so let's have a look at them Seven major plates of the earth Pacific plate, North America plate, South America plate, Africa plate, Eurasia plate, Australia plate and Antarctic plate. Let's learn more about the seven major plates of the earth. First, Pacific Plate Pacific Plate is the largest which underlies the Pacific Ocean. Specifically, it stretches all the way along the west coast of North America to east coast of Japan and Indonesia. This plate forms most of the Pacific Ring of Fire, which has some of the most violent and catastrophic earthquakes and volcanoes on the planet.
Second, it is the North American plate. The North American plate contains the continent of North America and part of Atlantic Ocean. The interior of the North American plate contains a giant granitic craton. It is believed that North American craton is 4 billion years old. Third, it is the Eurasian plate. Eurasian plate consists of most of Europe, Russia and parts of Asia, as the name suggests Eurasian. On average, the Eurasian plate moves about one quarter to half an inch per year. Fourth, it is the African plate. The African plate contains the whole continent of Africa as well as the surrounding crust of the Atlantic Ocean. Fifth, it is Antarctic plate. The Antarctic plate holds the entire continent of Antarctica including its surrounding oceanic crust. This plate is surrounded by parts of the African, Australian, Pacific and South American plates. Sixth, it is the Indo-Australian plate. The Indo-Australian plate stretches from Australia to India. It also includes the oceanic crust from the Indian Ocean. And the last it is the South American plate. The South American plate includes the continent of South America and a large portion of ocean from the Atlantic Ocean. By looking at the seven major plates of the earth, we knew that plates are of different shapes and sizes and the point where two plates meet are called plate boundary. Okay, I am here with the first activity. To do this activity, the map of the earth is turned into pieces of puzzle. So you all are going to complete the puzzle with me. So are you all ready? So let's begin. Here we go. Yes, it is the Antarctic plate. It holds the entire continent of Antarctica. Okay. Which plate is this? It is the Pacific plate. So, where will this fit? Is it here? No. Here? No. Yes, it is here. Do you know that Pacific plate is the largest plate? Okay. Which plate is this? Yes, South America plate. So, where does South America plate fit? Here? Here? No, it is here next to the Pacific plate, right? Okay, then next, let's see, Africa plate. Where is Africa? Because Africa plate contains the whole continent of Africa. So Africa will be, yes, here is the Africa plate. Okay, then let's see. Which plate is this? Eurasia plate, yes. So where will this fit? Is it here? No. Here? Yes, it fits here. 
So we have remaining two Australian plate and North America plate. So which one will fit here? Yes, you are right. North America plate will fit here. Okay, and the remaining we have Australia plate. So now the puzzle is ready. You can see the map of the R and all the seven major plates of the R. Let's see Pacific plate, North America plate, South America plate, Africa plate, Eurasia plate, Australia plate and Antarctic plate. Shall we go for the next activity? Yes, it's a quiz. A quiz based on the lesson. Let's see whether you could answer the questions. So you are going to recall what you have learned in today's lesson. Are you all ready? Let's see the answers. The first one. What is the outermost layer of the earth? Crust. Very good. You have got it right. Okay, the second one. The crust and upper mantle of the earth is called? Yes, lithosphere. Very good. The lithosphere is broken into large pieces. What are they called? Plates. Well done. Fourth question. The point where plates meet are called? Yes, plate boundary. Okay, question number five. How many major plates are on the earth? What are they? Yes, seven. And they are African plate, Antarctic plate, Eurasian plate, Australian plate, Pacific plate, North American and South American plate. Excellent. You have got it right. Okay. Here we go with the last question. Question number six. Here you have to name the plates labeled A, B, C, D, E and F. So A is which plate? Yes, it is the North America plate. Then what about B? Yes, it is the Eurasia plate. Then can you tell me the C? Which plate it is? Yes, you are right. It is the Pacific plate. D, South America plate. What about E? Yes, you are right. It is the Africa plate and F, it is the Australia plate. Well done students, you have done a great job. Hope you all enjoyed today's lesson. You will be learning more about tectonic plates and its movements in the next science lesson. Hope to meet you in the next teleclass.